Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Myriad Caves. Let's see, 26, 27, 28. So, I forgot what I said we would do this episode. So we're going to do something else. <laughs> um, but we're going to go back to Crystallized. I don't know what the deal is with my passive systems. That was just dirt, by the way, if you just got a quick look. I don't know what's going on with my passive systems. I am not getting a single uh, mushroom, and it's kind of driving me a little crazy here for the duration of this. Let's turn that down. I don't know what's going on. If somebody knows the answer, maybe let me know. Plenty of squid spawn, like up in the drizzle, or even the freaking lava. Still, the squid still spawn. Still. Uh, I've got no other passive mobs other than squids. I don't know what's going on. I should be getting a mushroom. At, at least one. I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm kind of actually at this point debating turning off the one that's supposed to immediately cook them. Uh, just because if I do get one, I don't know that I want it cooked right away. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm, I'm very... Mm, about the whole thing. I'm, I'm just kind of... Oh, right. I need want... Music and sounds. Whew. Come on, War. It hasn't been that long. Uh, I'm wearing the good armor that we picked up last time. We'll go ahead and use the Prismarine. Uh, the, what's it called? The, the Topaz set with the Unbreaking 10, Projectile 3, and then uh, it grants haste. And let us also grab another one of these guys for spawners. We'll swap that. Ooh, boy, that's getting low, isn't it? Okay. Let's do that. This was just where I was getting some blocks last time. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm debating what to do. The potions. I think I want to grab the potions first. And then maybe we'll bring a couple of them that we need. Stash the rest. And also... In the comments, if you didn't see last episode, or maybe if you saw it before Render did, he mentioned that the trees in this area, the purplish and pinkish, um, they're that color to show that they grew out of the mycelium, which I don't know why I keep missing things like that. The block choices that Render makes in this map are so deliberate, and it, I'm just, I guess I'm just dense. <laughs> I guess I'm just really freaking dense that I don't like realize things like that I think that's really cool like the mycelium is what grew these trees you know and then the flowers you know are kind of they're they're in the same color scheme and then he just kind of he hinted that perhaps there was something under the blue tree um, it's not safe down there okay uh, so we don't want to dig straight down through the tree so we'll go uh -huh. I don't think there are spawners. I think those guys are just uh, regular dudes trying to make their way in the world. Okay, I do still have mob sounds turned on, right? I didn't bring a shovel because I'm a genius. Uh, we're going to check under there, but I don't know that we're going to... Well, maybe we will. I was going to say, I don't know that we're going to go the quote-unquote fun way through this or if we're going to continue to bridge. I brought a lot of blocks for, you know, the bridging. Nice try, jerk. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh! Get, get, go on. Go on now! It was like power three and infinity. Oh, power three, flame three, infinity. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I like hints. <laughs> I like hints, but not spoilers. That was a good one. This is a really cool item. Um, oh, jeez, I didn't see that guy. Did that skeleton pick up speed briefly? That was odd. That was odd. It was like he did pick up speed briefly. I don't know. Maybe I'm imagining it. Okay, let's lay down some light. Oh! Okay, we got something cool for a change. Oh, let's not lose it immediately. 
because I usually lose things immediately. Um, or if not immediately, pretty soon after. I didn't see a spawner up there, but I could be mistaken. I wonder if I would be able to pop punch onto this bad boy. Whoops. That is, an, that is not a skeleton. That is an enderman. I don't think I looked at him. Okay, excuse me. I'm sorry. I got the... Uh... Those are skeletons. Okay. I'm trying... Ooh. Right, because of their reduced life, it makes shorter work of them. I'm trying to kind of... God dang it. I'm trying to kind of keep an eye on my surroundings as well, but it's not going so well, as you can tell. Um, and I'm... Wow, where are they all coming from? Oh, I see you now. Okay. I do like this bow a lot. Oh, man. Okay. Oh. And that projectile is really kicking some butt as well. The projectile uh, protection on this leather armor. And the unbreaking is doing the work. Okay. Um, bit early yet to say that things are coming up war. <laughs> Especially since we all know that things rarely come up war. Uh, the path blocks in this area are down, downright cruel. I just think I'd like to point that out. Uh huh. That's kind of what I thought it would be. I don't have a, a axe, so let's just take the whole thing. I thought I saw... Yep, I did see a skeleton right there. And he's safe. Did I see another chest, or did I imagine that? Okay, so we're going to kind of hug the wall. Yeah, I can see you now, buddy. Uh-huh. Oh, man. I love it. I love everything about it. Nope. I think the damage I took there was the fall damage. Uh, yeah, I love everything about it. This bow is amazing. And it's changing my life, and I do still have that really... I thought I heard a creeper. I do still have that really good bow. Um, was it called? Starfell? But it has looting on it. And I'm wanting to save that for my uh, mob system. Um, just so that I have a way to get goodies. Get more goodies than normal and not rely solely on um, uh, luck with the modified loot table. You feel me? Okay, let's keep going. Up the waterfall. All day up this waterfall. And we're at the top. This is where I kind of assumed the loot would be. I'd rather... Oh, it's a transitional area. Okay. Okay, I can do that. I can do all of that. It also means we got to be on the lookout for uh, traps. <laughs> oh man, do we got to be on the lookout for traps. Um, we died at the last transition, remember. Lindiana Jones and the Temple of Loom. Oh god, is it going to be like tons and tons of string? And sheep is going to hit the fan in the next area. Oh my god, Render. Dude, we got to have a talk about your puns. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Oh man. Just knitting. Oh, he is too this guy, he is too much. All right. Um Oh, wow. Oh wow, okay. So, you know what this kind of means is that if this uh this direction wasn't to the wool, I think that means that down in the what is it called? Fluffscape Oh, man. I'm kind of afraid of this. This is beautiful. Oh. I'm kind of afraid of it, though. Because this is flammable as hell. I wonder if maybe... Uh, uh, fire tick, or fire spread, or whatever it's called, is turned off for this area. I would hope so. Oh, that kind of concerns me. But at the same time, I guess I could just burn it down. If I burn it down, all that would be left would be the treasure and the wool, right? I don't know. Something to think about. Something to think about. Okay. 
Uh -huh. So there's no shortcut here either. So we do need to secure a path. And I think I've kind of done that along the side there. I mean, it's not super safe. But that does kind of indicate to me that the way that we got to go is down into the water. I think I said that. Remember the water down there? There were guardians. It was terrible. Or I could actually, we're almost at the same level as the bridge there. I could probably connect up. I might do that. I might, yeah, I might do that. Um, but I don't want to leave this area just yet. I want to, I want to keep looking for, for loots. I want to get greedy. Let's get our greed on, huh? So, let's just keep on with the lighting. Keep on keeping on. Uh-huh. Let me take care of this guy and I'll make some more torches than that even. Make another stack. Okay. Okay. And I'll I'll always take the leather and stuff like that as well. Cause you never know. I mean, how many inventory wipes have we been through, right? Oh! Creeper boxes. Creeper boxes, okay. This guy concerns me. I don't know why he shouldn't, but he do. So that's what's been going on in the flowers, I think. And I don't know if it's every uh, every flower patch, but it, oh, it's been going on. Oh, man, I'm nervous. I just realized my hand is kind of shaking. So I do apologize if my mouse is twitching in this episode. I'm not intentionally doing that, just no. Um, and then in typical CTM, let's hide stuff fashion. Let's check the water. Nothing this time. Oh man, I could definitely use uh, uh, what you call it though, the depth strider. Oh, that I'm so I'm so, oh god, I'm so nervous, guys, about going into the uh, there he is into the water. I'm so nervous about that. I just know I'm gonna have a bad time. I might uh, I think before we do that, I might either go to another area or oh jeez. Or just really... God dang it, he got off another shot. Is he not going to burn to death? I must not have pulled full power on the bow. I might go to another area, or I might spend a lot of time over by my grinder and see what I can't do about getting some respiration and aqua affinity. Um, I've, got the, I've got the sapphire gear. I could probably slap some more repair jobs on that. Okay, there's a chest that I haven't been to. Yep. See? Creeper. Okay. So. But I don't want to get too deep in here. Like I already kind of am. Oh, man. This is making me nervous, too. Whew. Okay. What do we got? <sighs> now, okay, there's a fun box on that hill. I'd bet money on it. Or a cluster, or a mini box, or not so fun box. I'd bet money on it. Because remember, we kind of had the same thing on a hill over there. So. I'm kind of picturing right now. Guys uh, coming by to ruin our fun. <laughs> I don't want that. So let's come in like this and go down. And this way we can also uh, keep an eye on spawners in this area right down here as we descend. Yeah, I think that's a great idea too, War. I got a lot of crap. Now, how much of this crap in my inventory do I actually want to hold on to? Because I, I kind of like these darker blocks. Plus, they're a little tougher to get. Oh, you know, I actually, I think Render gave me a bunch of them. I'd have to check that chest again to be sure, but 
I think he gave me a bunch, so we might be all right. I heard something. Oh, it might have been a block falling in the water. Yeah, all the same, it might not be the best idea to stand next to the water. Because if something falls... Well, but they are trained to swim. First thing. Yeah, I can definitely hear something falling in the water. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's take a quick peek. Uh, it's just a set of stuff and some beetroot soup. Did I hear somebody shooting at me? A set of armor. Um, I mean, I guess I can take what I can carry. Oh, the wood. I'll take the wood all day long. The bones can stay. I want the gunpowder. Uh, the le Oh, it's actually... Leave that. I'm kind of being an idiot right now, I think. Yeah, I'm being an idiot. Okay, let's stop looking at this. We'll come back and get the rest later if I think about it. If I don't think about it, then who cares? Oh, okay. So nervous, guys. I'm really nervous about this area, and I don't even know why. It's so beautiful, but it's so dangerous. <laughs> How many times do I say that in these maps, in, in render maps? Uh, is that a chest? No. Okay, so, next step in this area is going to be to go to the water, and I don't really want to do that today, because I don't have aqua affinity gear, I don't have depths, well, I do have, where, did a bat just secret serve as me, did a bat just secret serve as me, oh my god, the bats have turned on the mobs, they're on my side now, oh there he is, okay. Oh my god, the bats are on my side now. Oh, I love it. It's all coming up war. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else for me to do except under the water. So, oh, jeez. So let's quit pushing our luck here. Let's quit pushing our luck here. Oh! Oh, man, my pulse is kind of slowing now that I've gotten out of the frickin'... Out, uh, off the ground. Oh, man. So that's cool. The the dragon flame apparently sp sprouts blue trees. Um, I did also go back to the drizzle. Remember that house? I basically cannibalized the whole thing, and then I cut down another of the remaining trees. I got about a stack of birch wood out of it. So I'm in a good spot for wood. Part of the problem I've been having this whole time has been wood. I have no frickin' wood, and it's been driving me crazy. Okay. So here, there's a chest right over there that I still haven't got. Maybe we'll go for that as our last activity in this area. Um, and then I'll try to figure out a way to attack down below. That's It's a problem, guys. It really is. Yeah, see, this is kind of an isolated area over here. So that's probably good loot and not just another potion. Oh, you know what? Let's do this first. Uh, let's put down this guy, and let's drop uh, let's drop a lot of the stuff that we just don't want to part with, <clears throat> uh, or not part with, but we don't want to lose necessarily in the uh, in where we're going. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I, this area is is really doing a number on my my life, my existence. <laughs> okay, I got plenty of torches. I got tons of blocks. Let's actually leave... Well, no, because we're building a bridge, damn it. Uh, let's leave all of this. Our armor is looking fantastic. Uh, okay. And let's continue. Doing it like this. I love that you can middle click. I need to uh, spread the good word about that. I've been watching my buddy Kit play, and a lot of times he'll go to look for blocks on his bar and he doesn't have blocks on his bar. If you guys haven't watched Kit play this map, it's fantastic. The guy is very funny, and he's kind of wreck like he's more reckless than I am. But he is he's very competent, and he's just so much fun to watch. I really recommend checking him out. But uh, if you middle-click, 
Like if like if I if I only had these blocks in my inventory but not on my bar, I could middle click and they would appear on my bar. So I need to I need to make sure he knows about that because I kind of feel like he doesn't. And it's good information. So there's like a mini fun box that's going to give us some trouble. Um, oh, you know what I could do actually? As I can come over this way. We don't need to worry too much about that because I got a lava bucket. I actually thought about that before coming out today. Why don't I bring a lava bucket like I wanted last time? That's a great idea, War. Um, let's see here. And then we can just pick it up on our way out. I can't really... I, I have a hard time depth, depth perceptioning the... Uh, the, um, what, what you call it, the glass. I have a hard time with depth perception and glass in this game, and so, uh, let's see. I think we'll go into the wall and scale down it like we did uh, just a few minutes ago by that waterfall. I, I'm so scared today, but I feel like I'm less scared than I usually am. I don't know. It's it's weird being me playing this stupid game because I'm just I'm so scared when I play it. <laughs> I don't even know why. It's not even a scary game. It has no horror aspects to it. I I don't know. I'm just maybe it's just my old age. I'm, I as I get older, I get more cautious. Except a lot of times this caution isn't caution but fear. I don't know, man. You need to not be alive. Same with you. The power three was enough. The power three and the flame was enough to take out the creepy, but not the zombie. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh, and then he died of falling. Okay. So how's it going over here, fun box? Yeah, you can suck it. Give me my torch back, actually. Uh, and I do have room for these. Okay, good books. I saw Infinity, I saw Depth Strider, I saw Projectile. Oop. I saw myself getting to safety before I looked at them. Okay, we got Infinity, Unbreaking 3, Fabulous Book, Projectile 3, Depth Strider 3, Feather Falling 3. Uh, this was a great, uh, this was a great area over here. I love all those books. Classic reading material. If you haven't read them, I highly recommend it. I don't see anything else over here, so we can safely leave the area. Um, Render was kind of, you know, complaining at me about bridging over his eye candy area. So I'm going to leave that lava. <laughs> I'm such a jerk. I'm sorry. Oh, boy. It, it is, though. He's not kidding about this being his eye candy area. This place is gorgeous. Uh, there's another chest over there that we can go for. <sighs> you know what? I think we have time. I think we have time. I believe we have time anyway. Uh, yeah. Let me make one more stack of torches. Okay. But yeah, I mean, if you had more torches, like if I ran out of torches on my bar, I need to remember I can do this. I can I can middle click to add more torches to my bar. It's just it's it's a thing that's from modded Minecraft. In case you didn't really know, the uh, the middle click thing. I can't remember which mod for sure adds it. Probably NEI. NEI adds everything. And of course, as you probably know, uh, vanilla Minecraft often takes a lot of things from modded Minecraft as it is entitled to do. I think it's in the EULA that if you make a mod for Minecraft, uh, I believe I see something right there. A chest right there. Oh, God. It's so dangerous. Uh, if you make a mod or whatever for Minecraft, like uh, the developers, Mojang, Microsoft, I guess in this case. Yeah, that's definitely a chest. They're allowed to use part or any part of it. I mean, it's just how it goes. 
since it's, you know, their game. Yeah, that's definitely a, definitely a chest. I'm afraid to jump in the water, though, because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to accidentally hit, like, a piece of blue glass. The bad part is if that, you know what's probably in that chest is more frickin' flippers. I don't need more flippers. And I'm afraid of going in the water still because of frickin' guardians. I'll have to think about it. I might, some of these chests, I might just say, you know, screw it, I don't care. I don't know. I get, uh, <laughs> I get brave sometimes, but only for a minute. There is, I think that's the wool right there. I think that right there is the wool. You can see there's four lanterns. Uh, if it's not the wool, if it's not the wool, it's some kind of cool item. But it looks like there's colored grass, but there's a spawner. I know you guys can't see it. I'm sorry. But there's definitely something there. I'm just Now I'm wondering what the best way to approach that would be. Hmm. We're almost to this. Okay. Ever so cautiously bridging. You can see the badness starting to accumulate below. Now, I can't remember. I don't... Wait. Does the map go back farther this way? It does, and those are orange trees. Oh, man, this place is bigger than I thought. Oh, man, okay. What kind of horrible crap is there uh, at this chest, I wonder now? Huh. I kind of wish I had my lava bucket. I wonder if there's another fun box here that I'm not seeing. I definitely saw a skeleton, and I would really like to not get shot off of this. Where did that freaking guy go? Where did he go? Oh, man. Oh, that's... I found him. That's another one of those. Okay. Dang it. Jeez. Jeez. Oh. Food. Food me. Food me right now. Okay, it was another one of those freaking chests that I don't care about. Ho! Oh. Bad things. Bad things almost happened in my life. Let's go look over here. I need to get up higher anyway to get back to my frickin' bridge. Screw skeletons, man. I'm glad I got this armor because, man, I am bad at life. Uh, okay, so it was another one of... If you didn't catch a glimpse in it, you can go back and pause. Or, uh, it was one of the ones like we found earlier in the episode. A um, couple pieces of chain armor, some beet soup, some coal. I'm really intrigued about uh, the orange trees. Yep, there's a fun box right there. So, I need more... I need more, uh, oop, more lava bucket. I guess that's what I get for leaving lava bucket behind, right? Okay. All right. I think that's where we're going to wrap it up for today. I'm going to try to get out of here safely. Oh, God, I hate skeletons, man. I hate skeletons and heights. Oh, see? The guy is not done with me.
I gotta get up higher. You know what I'm glad there are no none of though are freaking blazes. <laughs> oh, blazes incoming next uh next little section. Yeah, next little section, blazes definitely. Alright. I think I can Wow, I went up a lot higher than I needed to. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> that deserves a replay. Yay! Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna count my lucky freaking stars, and we're going to, uh... We're going to call it a day for real. I need to, um... I need, I need to, yeah. Oh, man. I need a break. My heart is pumping. I'm lucky to be alive. And I still kind of hate this area. So, yeah. I thank you very much for watching. Next episode, we'll try to push farther into there. Oh, I think. I don't really know what I want to do next episode. I Being able to see that right there. I almost want to suicide jump in there with like no gear and just see what I'm up against. Uh, spawn all primed spawners, that kind of thing. I don't know. But first I'm going to truck all of this really good loot here back to base. So I thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next episode.